Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna talk about my first ever YouTube sweldo. Yes! If you're interested in finding out how I earned on YouTube, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've been on YouTube for a while na. Naging active ako sa YouTube for a year siguro. For parang last year ko lang talaga yung naging medyo consistent. Medyo ha, yun yung keyword, medyo consistent sa pag-upload ng video. So, and then siguro around third quarter of 2017, sinet up ko yung AdSense ko kasi feeling ko sayang naman yung mga views ko and all. And then I tried to learn how to set it up by myself. So, ayun, one year pa lang halos ako active. Hindi ako ganun kasi pag mag-upload. Pero, meron namang mga videos na nag okay naman sila. Hindi wild yung hit nila or yung views nila or gano'ng karami yung revenue na nababalag nila. Pero, meron. Meron. Last May 21, nag-email sa akin si Google AdSense and they told me that they sent their payment for me already so I could check it up na. Meaning, na-deposit na nila. So, pwede ko na siyang i-withdraw. Ganon. So, dahil I'm so happy that I got my first YouTube swelga, I figured na I'd share with you guys what are the things that I did para ma-set up yung YouTube account ko to earn money. And I listed down stuff para hindi ko makalimutan kung ano yung mga pointers na dapat tandaan when you're setting up your YouTube for Google AdSense. Sorry if this is gonna be a long video, pero I hope this won't be that long. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try my best to summarize things, pero may iintindihan nyo pa din, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's start. Okay, so bago ang lahat guys, meron kasing qualification bago kayo maging official YouTube partner. I-explain ko lang yung mga bagay in layman's term as simple as I can kasi hindi ko rin naman kayang intindihin in a very technical level lahat ng bagay. So, um, noong January lang, naglabas si YouTube ng bagong rule para sa partner program nila. Meaning, bago ka maging eligible na mag-earn sa YouTube. So, before, ang naalala ko ako, kasi ang tagal na nung account ko, guys. Nung college pa ako, I had that account na. It's for school purposes before. Pero, I figured when I wanted to start my own channel, like, for real content creator levels talaga, sabi ko, hindi na ako gagawa ng bagong channel kasi I want to preserve my name. Kasi yun yung username ko everywhere on social media. Hashtag follow me. Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> Ayun. When I had that account, you only need to have 100 subscribers before para mapalitan mo yung URL mo sa YouTube. I don't know if it's still like that right now. Pero yun. Kasi para sa akin, big deal yun. Kasi it's part of branding. So, when I reached 100 subscribers, I was super happy kasi I owned youtube.com slash pamrances na. That time, kahit 100 lang yung subscribers mo, eligible ka na na ma-monetize yung videos mo. Ang difference is, right now, you need to have 1,000 subscribers para maging eligible ka sa YouTube Partner Program. On top of that, you need to have 4,000 watch hours sa previous 12 months na nasa YouTube ka. Ang pagkakaintindi ko ha, you need to be at least 1 year old sa YouTube na merong 4,000 watch hours at may 1,000 subscribers para maging eligible ka na mag-sign up sa YouTube Partner Program. Which I know is super hassle for small YouTubers like me, like I am. Kasi it's not easy to ask people to subscribe to you or to persuade them, to please them enough para mag-subscribe sa channel mo, ba? More so, panoorin yung video mo, ba? Ang hirap. Punta tayo sa pag-set up na channel mo para mag-earn ng money. Okay, so first thing that you have to do is syempre mag-sign in kasi YouTube. I know na most people know this by now na, pero I just wanna mention it again. That guys, if you have a Gmail account, yun na yung pang-sign in nyo diretso sa YouTube. I know most of you guys know this by now, pero wala lang. Gusto ko lang sabihin kasi baka some don't know that. So, ayun. Pag naka-sign in ka na sa YouTube, dun sa may icon mo, click that icon, and then meron dong Creator Studio. Pagdating mo sa Creator Studio, meron dong channel, and then punta ka sa status and features. Pagdating mo sa status and features, makikita mo dun kung eligible ka na for monetization. Kasi meron dun, may makikita ka dun na mga boxes kung nakalagay, nakalagay dun kung ano na yung mga features na pwede mong gawin. Pagka, pwede mo na siyang i-enable, kapag in-enable mo siya, meron dung mga steps sa screen na susundan mo lang para mag-sign up ka official sa YouTube Partner Program. Next step, <laughs> step 2. 
two. <laughs> Step two. Ang next na gawin mo is mag-design up ka for AdSense. Google AdSense. So, yun yung business portal ni YouTube. Okay. So, pag nag-sign up ka sa AdSense, normal sign up lang yun. Like, parang nag-set up ka lang ng account. Ganyan. Doon mo makikita yung computation ng analytics mo, computation ng money, kung ano yung pumapasok na money. Usually, in dollar siya. Hindi na ako masyadong magiging in-depth doon kasi hindi ko kayang explain lahat yon. Pero, doon ko tinitignan lang kung ano yung month mataas yung earnings ko, ganyan. Kung itong day na to, ang taas ng uh, money na pumasok sa akin and all that. Ilan yung click per minute, yung mga ganong bagay. Meron ding analytics si YouTube. Pero ano yun, it's more on watch time. Ganyan. Meron din dong earnings. Si AdSense lang is, pinapakita niya yung total revenue per se. Parang mas general portal kasi siya. Okay, so, um, in order to get paid, there are different types of payment methods. There's wire transfer, and then meron ding check. Pero kasi yung wire transfer, okay din sana siya sa akin. Kaya lang kasi you need to go to the bank pa, ask for this something, um, number, ganyan. For me lang, I don't really have, wow, I don't really have time <laughs> para pumunta pa sa bank just to ask for those details. So what I did was, I opted for the easiest method for payment. I chose Western Union because we have Western Union here in the Philippines, right? So, ilalagay mo lang don basically yung name mo and I don't know what else. I think name lang yung nilagay ko don. Because pag dating mo naman sa Western Union, which what I did when I claimed my um, payment was, I asked naman nila yung government ID mo, ganyan or whatsoever, just to verify if you're really Tam Francis or whichever name yung input mo don. So yeah, I got paid to Western Union. Which is super easy, di ba? Because Western Union is everywhere. After step 2, you will go to step 3. It's a setup mo na yung monetization sa YouTube mo. Ilalagay mo lang doon yung email na ginamit mo for YouTube, yung email mo for AdSense, ganyan. Parang mako-confirm lang. Parang makikita sa YouTube channel mo if um, pwede mo nang itik yung button ng monetization. And then, pagka pwede mo nang itik yung button ng monetization, pwede mong iselect sa Google AdSense if lahat ng videos mo ma-monetize forever. Para yung button ng monetization, when you upload a video, lalabas na siya. Pwede mo na siyang i-on. Ganon. So, meron din, lalabas din doon yung kung ano yung mga types ng ads. Kung gusto mo sa unahan, meron. Sa gitna, meron. Sa dulo, meron. Kung every 30 seconds, meron. Nandun yun. Although, um, alam ko ha, hindi tayo yung magde-decide kung ano yung type ng ad or gaano kaming ad yung mag appear sa isang video ng isang YouTuber. Kasi si YouTube, nag-review ng mga videos and then ika-classify nila kung ano yung mga types ng ads na papasok sa video mo. Pag nag-upload ka ng video, isa-select mo kung anong category siya. Let's say, sinalag ko is how to and style. Pwede nilang ipasok doon yung mga tutorials, DIYs, fashion, ganyan, or whatsoever. So, napakaraming kinds ng ads na papasok. Even, let's say, even shampoo ads can be at a video na nagtutulo kung paano gumawa ng art. Ganyan, or, or ewan ko, or nagsistyle, bumibili siya ng fans, nag-uukay siya, pwedeng sabon, or pwedeng shampoo yung pumasok. Ganon. Okay, lastly, ito yung, um, part na nakuha ko na yung sweldo ko. Okay, so makukuha mo na yung sweldo mo. Paano mo makukuha? Paano mo ma-withdraw? Kailan mo pwedeng i-withdraw? Kailan ka nila i-email na pwede mo nang kunin? So, si YouTube, si Google AdSense, meron siyang threshold. Yung threshold niya for each content creator is $100. Hindi mo pwedeng i-withdraw ang money if hindi ka abot ng $100, meaning it's around 5,000 pesos. Let's just say it's 5,000 pesos here sa Philippines. Kasi if $1 is 52 na ata, eh, parang gano'n. Okay, so hindi mo siya ma-withdraw hanggat di siya 5,000. So, in my case, I earned that in a span of one year. Like, holy freaking gosh, I'm so lazy. <laughs> one year ko siya na-earn. Kasi nga, hindi ko na-maintain yung momentum. Ganyan. Basta, ang point ko lang is, pag $100 na yung threshold mo, you can withdraw the money. You can get it na. Uh, when I got mine, nagulat ako kasi lumagpas pa ako sa 100. Kumbaga, yun yung, nag yung summary nung last month ko, nung um, April to May ko, lagpas pa ng $100. Kaya, nag kaya nakuha ko na yung month. Kasi lagpas ako sa $100. So, yun. Pwede ko na siya hindi kunin. I just really want it to be real. Kaya, kinuha ko na. 
So, ayun. I think I covered everything. If you have any more questions or something that I missed about this, if may gusto pa kayong itanong or whatever, I'll try my best to answer. Just leave a comment below para mabasa ko sila. And, um, yeah. What else? I hope nakatulong ako sa inyo today. Ito lang yung mga basic knowledge ko about this. The Google AdSense, earnings on YouTube, kaya. Ito lang yung mga alam ko. And, yeah. So, I guess, I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.